half one. I'm up in my kitchen at half one in the morning cooking. Who am I? Also, I'm sweating. Why did I decide to cook in a hoodie again? Oh, that's right, because I'm insecure about my body. I will put my hands up. My eating habits is terrible. There are three reasons why I have a terrible diet. Reason number one, I have no routine in my life. I cannot even count the amount of times I've had a massive bowl of ramen at midnight. If that's not a sign of someone who's emotionally unstable, I don't know what is. Reason number two. The day I realized that you can order restaurant food and have it delivered to your house, it was game over. It was too late. I was too far gone. I was never gonna come back from that. I looked at my order history and my average spending for one meal was around 17 pounds. I'm supposed to be a cheap person, yet I'm spending 17 pounds on one meal. And sometimes that meal doesn't even fill me up. This is starting to feel like an intervention. I have an order and takeaway problem, which I'm trying to tackle in this video. Which when you think about it, is actually really true and honest. Oh God, I need help. And the third reason, if it wasn't already obvious, is I am incredibly lazy. I hate cooking with a passion. But in this video, I'm gonna tackle all my issues in the form of meal prep. It's basically when you plan, prep, and cook your meals in advance for the next few days. I'm gonna try meal prepping for the week. Let's go. First thing was trying to figure out what I was gonna eat this week. Considering my fridge was empty, I had my wig cut out. Next step, research. After looking into basic nutrition and meal plan ideas, it was time to start planning this week. I am back at the supermarket, what's new there? I'm buying all the supplies, all the food for the meal plan. How much do you think for a meal plan? How many do you think you need? Well, we're not, how many things do we have? Thai protein penner. Protein! This is the meal plan uh, sizing. Look at my head. My weekly shop came to a total of 33 pounds and 8 pence. I, I, um, I, I, I don't have any words. I think it's fair to say meal prep is a much cheaper option. I had all day to meal prep and I hate cooking so much so I kept putting it off. It's currently 11 p.m. and I decided now would be the perfect time to cook five, no, 15 meals at 11 p.m. Why am I like this? There's something in my brain that when I think of cooking food, I just, I can't do it. If I slave away for the next few hours, I won't have to do anything for the rest of the week. Or I could just deliver room. All right, lads, it's time to meal prep. Let the cooking begin. It was 11 p.m. and I had this huge pile of food staring at me. Least to say, I wasn't feeling too motivated. Oh, too late in the night to be doing this. One, two, three. Oh. Look at all that veg. I tried out this thing called a boil in the bag rice. Not sure if this is a new or old thing, but it was new to me. I have never made rice in a bag before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stab the bag. Oh wow, it's all stuck together. So the rice is all congealed. Mate, that's actually not that bad. This makes life so much easier. One of the things that really frustrates me about cooking rice is when it sticks to the pan, like at the bottom and you're like scraping it off. Don't have to think about that anymore. This is revolutionary. This changes the game. Bolognese, pasta, my veg, my rice. I'm just waiting on the veg in the oven. Oof. Which, if you guys remember, was the first thing I did. So I don't know what's taken it so long, to be honest with you. I didn't realize roasting veg took two days. I've been cooking and slaving away for two hours. I'm done. I want to go to bed, but my veg is in the oven and I cannot leave them unattended. It's half one. I'm up in my kitchen at half one in the morning cooking. Who am I? Also, I'm sweating. Why did I decide to cook in a hoodie again? Oh, that's right, because I'm insecure about my body. I swear I tell you, this is sweaty work. But Look at my rice. That's, that makes it all whip. Did you hear that noise? Did you hear that noise? 
well, I had no idea what that noise was. And then my camera died. That was some weird stuff. But we're not going to comment on it because it's too late in the night. And I'm by myself and I'm kind of freaked out. So Moon is staying with me at the moment. And she's got work tomorrow morning. She has like the normal 9 to 5 job. So since I've been slaving away like a good friend wife. I am now going to make her pack lunch. So that she can take it to work tomorrow. Let me get a container out. I mean there's just so many varieties to choose from. I wonder which one. You know what? I think for the first meal. I'm gonna go for this one. I'll stick with the safe option. I'm gonna give her some high protein pasta. She's gonna have a long day at work, need something that keeps the brain functioning and high protein, high energy, rearing to go, love that. I'm gonna do a little post-it note saying Moon's lunch on it because I watch friends and I know at workplaces, sometimes they steal people's food. I know, it's crazy. I don't know who is out there stealing someone else's food. Especially in the workplace, that's so weird. But people do it. I made this with love and care. I need to make sure that the correct person eats it. Or if someone else does eat it, that they love it too. But for now, this is for Moon. Moon's lunch. Enjoy. How cute. And now her lunch is protected and no one is going to steal it. And if they do, I will go to a workplace and cut them. I wouldn't. I would never do that. I'm just joking. That was a joke. I will give them a strongly worded letter. Seems fair. Still waiting on the veg, by the way. I'm still waiting on the veg. Do roasted veg, the woman said. It'll be quick and easy, she said. An eternity later. Here are my sweet potato slices. <gasps> Look at them veg. Oh my God, it's not so good. You know what, I'm not a bad cook. I mean, that looks good, right? That, that don't look bad. Okay, maybe I cook this to death. Yeah, I'll, I'll ruin them. We can ignore that. I'm just so proud of our veg. That's beautiful. Should I have a little taste? Oh, that's so good. That is actually incredible. Oh my God, that's actually amazing. Oh my God, that's so good. <gasps> the food tastes so good. Oh my God, the food actually tastes incredible. We are on schedule. I mean, it's half one in the morning. I don't know what kind of schedule I'm on, but whatever it is, we are on it. A strange wave of emotions has come over me at this fine hour. Dare I say it, I feel kind of proud of myself. Oh my god, these are so good. Oh my god. I made that. That was me. I kind of wish someone could taste this so that people know how good it is. Because I made that. I should probably stop eating it though. It's going to last me five days. I don't trust myself cooking meat. I'm scared that I'll undercook it and then I'll get food poisoning. So I literally burn my chicken. That way I know that it's definitely been cooked. If it looks like it's burnt, it's supposed to. That's how I eat it. Time. Get the containers out. One of the meal options was pasta bolognese. Next, I had white rice with peri peri chicken and roasted vegetables. This I decided I'm gonna keep as a snack so I can just munch on sweet potato toast or slices whenever I want. I also boiled five eggs, one for each day, and that's gonna be my extra bit of protein for the day. I'm planning to have oatmeal with banana. So I don't need to meal prep this, thank God. I'm just gonna make that fresh every morning. And for snacks, I had nuts and a selection of different fruits. And after two days of slaving away, I had finally completed preparing my meal prep. Oh my God, have you seen anything more beautiful in your life? This is beautiful. I am just feeling so pumped about my meal prep right now. This is probably how a mum feels about their child because I am just so proud of all you baby. You look so beautiful, well presented, clean, nutritional, bright colours. You really stand out. I love you all equally. That's my meal prep. I made that. I made that all by myself. I did. I swear. With my own hands. Okay. She's actually lost the plot this time. Now I just have to store it all away and start the week. So for breakfast, I've made myself some oatmeal with some flaxseed and banana. Breakfast is the only thing that I have a meal prep because I don't need to, but everything else is, so bear that in mind. And dinner is ready. Oh, that's hot. So I'm having my final meal of today, my dinner. I have not had to think about food at all today. And I cannot tell you how much joy that brings to my life. Whenever I'm hungry, I just go downstairs, get it from the fridge, heat it up, and eat it. It's amazing. It's so convenient. I spend about four pounds a day Shut on up. meal deals, and <gasps> snacks and things like that, 
week. We could genuinely get by a week on that sort of thing just by having this. It yes. just takes a little bit of prep, that's all. I basically have all our meal, meal prep ready in containers here. The first time I gave it to Moon, I left it on the dining table. And obviously we don't wake up at the same time. <laughs> like Moon wakes in the morning, I wake in the nighttime. Pretty much we are opposite in terms yeah, of our yeah, sleep yeah. schedule. So I just assume that Moon would know that, basically, what did you do this morning? <laughs> And I thought, because yesterday she left it here with a lovely little note. I took a picture and everything. Um, and genuinely, I was like, oh, this is so cute. And I just thought I'd wake up to that this morning. And I didn't. My friend wife did not leave my food up for me. Did I peer off? Like, I I No, you didn't. But I came in and I was like, okay, it's not here. I, <laughs> I swear, this is why I was like, I was like okay. <laughs> I walk into the kitchen and I'm looking around she hasn't and, left. Like, and I cough and I'm like, am I being cheeky? Like, genuinely, did she make this for herself? And I just thought that she was making it for me. And then I felt embarrassed thinking, I'm letting my own friend cook for me. <laughs> I've hit a new note. Not only is there no container, there's no note. There's no, there's no notes. container. Nothing. Nothing. I kept the notes. <laughs> Are you really? Why? Oh, like, shut up. Shut, shut up. up. Have you actually got in your pocket? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> you really yeah, have it. I don't. I don't want to leave it because I was like, it's it's a nice. I think it's cute. I really and no one's ever done that for me. And I thought it was just Aww. quite cute. <laughs> I don't oh, know if that's, that's like sweet it. or if I feel sorry it's for you. <laughs> it's beyond that, guys. It's all like good food. You mm. get in your protein. You get in your carbs. I'm just having veg. I know. I'm having <laughs> a My carrot. Are you veg. I'm having a carrot. You like it? And I actually really, really like it. This is the only footage I had of me eating the eggs. I don't know why I look so lost and bewildered, but hey, this is me eating an egg. Ooh. Oh, it smells really good. Considering I'm eating two day old food from a fridge, this is like really good. I'm very quickly getting conveyed to the meal prep life. So far, I haven't got sick of the food, still like it. I mean, it's rice. Who's gonna say no to rice? There we go. And that's my dessert. The most obvious change for me was the increase in productivity. Since I was eating decent healthy meals consistently at a scheduled time, my body was getting the energy and nutrients it needed to function properly. Something I was not used to. I also didn't need to spend time making the food, which all in all meant I was way more productive and got more work done. The chicken and rice and veg combo is definitely my favourite. How many days can you eat refrigerated chicken for? I'm sure it's fine. I mean, my belly hasn't hated on me yet, so... Bon appetit. I will say the veg is starting to get a bit weird. That is just sad. We were on a roll, people. The meal prep was in full effect. I am not home anymore. I have come away to visit family. And if you think I brought my meal prep with me, you will be absolutely correct. Yes, I am literally traveling with meal prep. I bought a chill bag and everything. Got my nuts in there as well. Got some fruit, which has been out of the fridge for a couple of hours. So I don't know if that's going to be good. I've turned into such a mum. And I'm low-key kind of here for it. I was eating a lot better without even realizing. I didn't really miss the junk food. I had replaced it with fruits and nuts, which gave me a lot more energy. And I even think it made me happier. I don't know if that's in my head. But I feel like it did. Time to have lunch. That is the driest bolognese I ever did see. And that is the saddest looking pasta I ever did see. You guys are planning to make spaghetti bolognese, right? Yeah. This is going to be all nice and fresh. My one looks so sad. I've definitely hit that point where I'm, hungry. I'm kind of tired of eating the same thing again and again. But that's also my fault because I only made certain meals because I didn't want to overwhelm myself by cooking five different meals. Kind of over it at this point. <sighs> Pasta bolognese for the god knows how many times. And it is starting to taste more and more like cardboard with each day. I guess it doesn't look so bad. It's not bad. I think it's just because I've had the same thing every single day. I'm like bored of it. Doesn't smell weird. Doesn't taste gone off. That was my biggest concern. I was worried that at this point it would taste kind of funky. But it does not. I mean, I say it is a cardboard, yeah, I'm eating the whole thing. So, what does that mean? And finally, we had made it to the last day. The final meal. This is the last container 
of this week. I'm gonna stay away from the veg because it no longer looks edible. And I, honestly, I don't think it's safe. How long can you eat roasted veg for? Either way, I'm not gonna risk it. This is some tough chicken. Is this chicken okay? Bon appetit. I am so sick of rice and chicken at this point. I never wanna look at rice and chicken ever again. Eating the same meals five days in a row, it'll take its toll on you, it really will. It got to a point where I was just shoving food in my mouth, but it didn't taste of anything. I can't believe at one point I got excited looking at this. Because all that excitement is gone. I hope to continue to do meal prep, but if I do do it, I'm gonna invest more time in cooking a variety of meals. Because if you eat the same meal five days in a row, you end up hating your life. I hope this gave you guys an honest insight into what meal prep is like. Thank you so much for suggesting this. Let me know what else I should try next. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember to click the tab.